Hi guys, thanks for joining me, Coach Victor Robledo. Today we're gonna to talk about protein, protein shakes and meal replacement. Now this is a question I often get. Um, I have someone on with me today, this is my son Daniel, and he's been helping me build out my program and help my clients with nutrition. And he really wanted to do this video today about protein shakes or meal replacement shakes. Daniel, why did you wanna do this video? Well, because I think everyone thinks that a protein shake to clarify, this is more of a protein smoothie, but even still, people think of a protein shake, it's protein, and then their, their milk, whether it be an almond milk, a, nor, a cow's milk, a oat milk, or whatever, and they think that that's it, and that's all that they should have in it, and that usually doesn't taste very good. Some people even do water. I know you do water. No, I that's do disgusting. do protein. <laughs> I do do my protein shakes with water, especially if I'm really cutting. But the idea for me is to show you one that I can use as a meal that's just sustain kind of holds me off for a while and a lot of people can do this but then 15 minutes they can make their own shake and then they're like i'm still hungry and so we're going to give you guys some ideas today danny's got his favorite and i got my favorite and a couple things that i like to use in mind i'll let you kind of go for it yeah first so bit. i think with each of ours they're basically the idea is like what can i make in five minutes that's healthy if that's going to fuel me and it's going to last at two, three, maybe even four hours. Yeah, so, that's the good stuff right there. So let's talk, do you wanna talk protein powder? Well, let's start with our protein powder because we use two different types of protein powder, um, but just for the sake of the video, we're each using a different kind. Uh, this one over here is a, flit is, well, it's slightly flavored. It's not that sweet. It's got six whole grams of sugar in it, which is not So I have enough. a tendency to use this one um, by our game. We'll have the links to these protein powders down below. Uh, because it, I often use it with just water. At least it has a little bit of sweetness. If I have some oatmeal, uh, which I do have oatmeal once in a while, I can just put one scoop of this and I can eat it just like that. This one has nothing. This company, what's awesome about this company is that it's just the peas. Now we are using uh, pea protein powder. We do get, we're not necessarily vegan, uh, but we eat a fair amount of protein from animal sources or organic farm raised, pasture raised, uh, grass fed meats most of the day. So this usually is a nice supplement for us to give us a little bit of break from, um, for example, whey, which doesn't always agree with a lot of people. These work really well, hold my blood sugar Yeah, up. I think if you've got like the, uh, uh, the right, uh, for the right body type, whey is great too, if you get the right source, right? <clears throat> yeah, on it does have some grass fed uh, whey, which seems to do better for a lot of people. But for me, um, I can actually have this shake and then go train in like 15, 20 minutes. So that says something about the lightness in my gut. All right, yeah. so let's, let's start off first. This is your first tip though, is <laughs> you've introduced the protein powder, but you can never, never under any circumstances, put the protein powder in first. You have to put your liquids in first and we're gonna be using uh, almond milk for today, but we also sometimes use oat milk. Uh, again, though, we use different amounts. Yeah, I usually go with a little bit more liquid. It's partially because of what the other add-ins that I have just to give me a little bit more satiation. Um, I'm gonna go with a little over a cup, probably a cup and a half. So that's a cup. I'm gonna steal a little bit of Daniel's here. I did one cup for mine, and you can kind of mess or play around with the uh, ratio, but one of the easiest ways to mess up your protein shake or protein <laughs> smoothie is to not have the right proportions. You do not want mucusy, but you also don't want to, just, you don't want to basically have it be 80, 90% liquid. Yeah, then it's too, you gotta have something, some kind of texture and I, you'll see the differences uh, from here. Um, what are we doing next? All right, next is the second most important ingredient, <laughs> in my opinion, which is peanut butter. Now, Fat sources are a great way to manage your blood sugar. Uh, in general, uh, we usually use, we keep in our house um, a nutso or a nut butter variation as well as almond butter and peanut butter. But Daniel and I are massive fans of peanut butter. Um, obviously it's calorically dense. We're not trying to give you a low calorie variation of, of a protein smoothie or a protein shake. We're trying to give you something that'll hold you off and give you energy. Yeah. So unless you're doing you, a, uh, unless you're doing a, a competition for, uh, and you want to have all your veins exposed, yeah. peanut butter is going to be fine. So Danny put one big tablespoon yeah. of his. I'm okay. going to go with a little bit less and you'll, I'll tell you exactly why later. Yeah, he's going to do, I think that's a teaspoon. I'm going to, I did two tablespoons. Um, and now we're going to go to our powders. Which, my powder is a little bit different than Daniel's. I'm going to go with this. Do you want to talk about yours first? Yeah, mine is a, I don't, uh, 
not sure if you've heard of it or not, but it's called mud water. It's not actually mud. It is just a fancy combination of chai and a whole bunch of other ingredients. I can list them off for you real quick. It's got cocoa powder, lion's mane, cordyceps, chaga, rishi, cinnamon, turmeric, and some Himalayan salt. And so basically, people, normally people use this as like a coffee, coffee alternative, uh, but I like to put about a tablespoon of it into my protein shakes whenever I can because it gives it a little more flavor. Otherwise, it's just kind of plain. Uh, a lot of a lot of people use this. I prefer to drink our mud with with some hot water or some steam almond milk. It gives you that coffee substitute feel. But Danny actually adds it to a protein shakes. He's getting all of those awesome nootropics from those mushrooms and all of those elements to kind of balance out. They're a very antioxidant. I guess that's a much more term that a lot of people Yeah, they're understand. antioxidant mushrooms, not like... Not psychedelics. Like, now, not I like add a little bit of quick oats into mine just so it gives me a few, a little bit more fiber. So I'm going to add three tablespoons here of his, oats. His is truly the meal substitute. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're having trouble with your blood sugar management, you have to be real careful with what you put into your shakes. Now, look, if you're looking to keep it low calorie, ice, water, and your protein powder, blend it up at the right amount. Voila, you have a low calorie protein powder. But most people will be like, gross, I don't want to eat that. So what we're trying to do is combine flavor um, and also put some stuff that's going to be good for your body, right? Yeah. All right, right, what's next? Why don't you do your, uh, your pumpkin next? Okay, so my secret weapon lately has been canned pumpkin. This is extremely cheap. You can get it at any grocery store. And it provides, first off, some flavor that I think is absolutely critical. And... Fiber, again, so tons of beta carotene. Again, you can look up what's the benefits of pumpkin for another video, but I add two big, ta two big tablespoons of this stuff as well to each of my protein shakes so that I get some sustained energy from it. It does have a little bit more fiber. And in general, um, it gives it that taste. Now, if you don't like pumpkin, obviously don't use it, but to me, it always makes everything taste a little more like a pumpkin pie. Go ahead. All right, now we're gonna do our protein powders. I'm gonna do just one scoop. I think you usually do two scoops, right? I do two scoops. I'm the big scooper guy right here. So in the end, it's almost a wash if it comes down to, but we're giving you two very two different variations of the same. So I put two scoops of my protein powder here. And oh, uh, then we get into some frozen fruits. And yes. Danny will start first. I'm gonna grab something from over here. All right, so. Banana is a must if you're doing peanut butter protein shake just because you want to get that creaminess. You're leaning towards that. I'm still going to add a few berries. Normally, there are two avenues to go with a protein shake. You either go banana, peanut butter, kind of the creamy route, or you can go with a f more fr uh, fruity and you kind of maybe skip the peanut butter. But I like to put just a few berries because they're great for uh, antioxidants and all the vitamins and stuff. Uh, and it gives it a little bit more flavor and the color is a little more appealing instead of like it being kind of a brown mesh. I'm gonna do half a banana and I'm gonna do just under a quarter cup of berries. And I'm also gonna do half a banana. Just as a little side note, we buy tons of bananas ahead of time. We break them up into pieces and put them in the freezer. Uh, this can take a smoothie cold uh, frozen bananas can make it creamier and thicker. And if you're just using a half like I am, it can um, add a lot of flavor as well. Go ahead. All right, I think. Oh, I have one more thing oh, and that was cinnamon. Go. I always add cinnamon to my smoothies, even if it's not with pumpkin, because I love the blood sugar management that I get. And I just put a couple dashes of that cinnamon in there. Voila, now we're ready. What do we got left? I think we're just ready for the blending part. Yeah, right? now we're gonna blend. Uh, now that we've put our spices, uh, I'm gonna skip on the oregano today. <laughs> All right, let's see how they come out. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. Uh, we blended these up, ready to drink them. I have actually have a workout and some clients. Danny actually just finished his run, so he's gonna recharge the battery. Please like and subscribe this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the content, uh, comments below. Cheers.